Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video of Fox Flicks on the Kaiju Profiles. Today we're continuing on in our series with Wikizilla and going on to Jet Jaguar. Uh, featuring Monster Island Buddies. Check out their channel. Uh, link may be in the description, I'm not sure of that. Now let's hop in. But I can say at least link to the original video will be in the description below, so check out the original Korea and all they do. Let's go. Uh, hey Kaiju go. fans, it's Monster Island Buddies! I'm back to talk about the size-changing robot whose crime-fighting covers up a basic insecurity, Jet Jaguar! Damn, I was not expecting that head button. Introduced in Godzilla vs. Megalon, Jet Jaguar oh, yeah. is a benevolent robot built by the inventor Goro Ibuki for what his Godzilla Unleashed bio succinctly calls unknown reasons. An ally to the, the King fly. of the Monsters, in his sole film appearance, he fights the menacing Megalon and Gigan to defend his human family. Despite him ranking high among least favorite kaiju in fan polls for decades, Jet Jaguar has surged in popularity something. recently. Maybe it's because of how much tail he kicked in Godzilla Rulers of Earth. Or maybe oh, yeah, it's because he sense. understands what so many kaiju fail to grasp. You're never fully dressed without a smile. <laughs> In the Come 1960s, on. Virus Galala, Manila, and Giron all received their names from public contests. Toho went a step further in 1971, sponsoring a Seiyu campaign called Children's Monster University with oh, Subaraya Productions. In March of next year, a number of the kids who had submitted designs were invited to appear on the television program Katsuro Kokinji's Afternoon Show, where a suit nice. inspired by the winning design would be revealed. Best of all, the winner's monster would appear in Toho's next Godzilla film. That honor went to Red nice. Alone, created by a boy from Kanagawa Prefecture whose name I don't actually know how to pronounce thanks to Kanji. His original drawing has never surfaced, probably because the suit didn't do it justice, even changing the I monster's brought, oh. white body to a mixture of red, yellow, and blue. Kokinji consoled the poor kid as this strange new Red Alone took the stage, though Toho was not yet finished destroying his dreams. Red Alone returned for other television shows and Seiyuu public events, but he never met Godzilla. Hmm. In Shinichi Sakazawa's 1972 draft, Insect Monster Megalon vs. Godzilla, the Undersea Kingdom's Annihilation Strategy, Red Damn, Alone became a, a robot with a sharp figure. Then special effects director Teruyoshi Nakano supervised the redesign of the character. He was hesitant to follow Toho's wishes at first, feeling that he would just be adding to the legions of Ultraman-like heroes Jeez. dominating Japanese television. As a so result, many. he decided to make the robot intentionally unappealing. This concept art is often attributed to illustrator Akihiko Iguchi, but Iguchi has denied having any involvement in Godzilla vs. Megalon whatsoever. Nobuyuki Yasumaru and Tomoki Kobayashi project, teamed up to sculpt the Red Alone suit, with Takashi Naganuma painting it. The suit, made from wetsuit material, was quite combustible, so the crew had to be cautious when filming scenes such oh, as the Ring wow. of Fire. Yasumaru created the head primarily out of FRP, plus material from car tail lights for the mask's eyes. A motor was okay, installed in the bad. suit's head to control the extending antennae. For shots oh, of the robot taking flight, cool. the suit actors would stand on wooden boards while a number of staff members raised them into the air. <laughs> At least two flying props were created, a one-half scale version made of FRP and a much smaller model used to represent the human-sized robot guiding Megalon. As this okay, Godzilla vs. Megalon bad. poster shows, Red Alone was not renamed Jet Jaguar until after his suit was built. The part was shared by actors Sugatoshi Komada and Masach Karamori. Okay, the interview with Komada, cool. included in the Criterion Collection's Showa Godzilla box set, gives a bit more insight. Here, he revealed that the suit had platforms to compensate for his short legs, and it took about oh. 10 minutes to climb into. Although oh. most of his scenes were directed That's by Nakano, something. Komado worked with the director Jun Fukuda for the parts where Jet Jaguar was human-sized. They instructed him hmm. to move in a robotic way until the end of the movie, when he was to act as if something human had entered him. Lastly, he admitted that, that, that as a result sense. of the I suit's like small eye holes, he was prevented from, quote, doing the action scenes the way I wanted to. I just did the best I could so the director could be happy with the take. For his effort, <laughs> let's give the man a thumbs up. Yep, I'll give a thumbs up to that. After an underground nuclear well. test wreaked havoc on their city, the Kingdom of Seatopia prepared to attack the surface world with their monster god Megalon. 
Looking for a way to guide Megalon during his rampage, two Cetopian agents ransacked the home of Goro Ibuki, an inventor working on a humanoid robot. When Goro, his brother Rokoro, and his friend Hiroshi interrupted them, the agents quickly subdued them and made their escape. Soon after, Goro put the, the finishing touches on his robot, which he named Jet Jaguar. The Cetopian agent struck again, this time seizing control of Jet Jaguar. One attempted to dispose of Goro and Rokuro in a shipping container, while the other stayed at the house to direct the mm. robot. Unwisely right. monologuing, he revealed that the Cetopians planned to build an army of Jet Jaguars. Hiroshi escaped oh. and set off to rescue Wait, Goro and Rokuro. In the meantime, jail? Jet Jaguar began to steer Megalon That's towards Tokyo. Kind of Along impressive. the way, he attacked Ogochi Dan, inadvertently swatting Goro and Rokuro to safety. While Goro had a handheld control device for Jet Jaguar that could override the Cetopians' nice. commands, he discovered that the range was too limited. That After he explained the situation to the JSDF, they let him board a helicopter to intercept the robot. Just before they could collide, Goro regained control of Jet Jaguar and sent him to Monster Island to convince Godzilla to join the fight. Though disoriented not, not at bad. first, Megalon quickly got back to task. To ensure they had the advantage against Godzilla, this he's like, "Where did that little robot go? Ah, oh, screw it! I'll just blow stuff up. Boom, boom, boom." <laughs> that, that's actually a little funny. Utopians enlisted Gigan. As Megalon approached hmm, Goro's house, Jet Jaguar reunited with his family, then flew off to face the monster, ignoring Goro's commands. Sorry, Somehow, gee, sure. the inventor well, mused, Jet Jaguar well, had achieved free will. Megalon learned that he had achieved something else the ability to turn himself into a 50-meter fighting machine. Jet Jaguar Ow. and Megalon found themselves evenly matched until Gigan arrived I, on the scene. The how? robot took a beating from the devious duo, but their gloating came to an end when Godzilla stormed in. A tornado what tag up, team bugs? match ensued. Jet Jaguar broke Gigan's arm Jeez. and held Megalon in place so the King of the Monsters could deliver his famous sliding kick. After the two villains Gravity retreated, the, the Big G kick. returned to Monster Island, while Jet Jaguar out, returned to his family, shrinking back to human size. Toho's Toyetic TV show features three different Jet Jaguars, oh, yeah. all serving G-Guard on Godzilla Island. I I a completely this. silver Jet Jaguar, apparently a combat model, was shot down by a zillion ship in the second episode and never heard from again. Oh, well, Medical Jet Jaguar sucks. first appeared in the ninth story arc, transporting an unconscious Godzilla to the G-Guard base after he was possessed by Space Godzilla. After Dr. Misato Jinguji arrived on Godzilla Island, she often piloted medical this? Jet Jaguar in her efforts to care for the monsters, whether they liked it or not. <laughs> she even drove off King Ghidorah okay, by spraying funny. him with a gas that compelled him to dance when he heard music. I'd love to explain how that There's works, no way but that the show still hasn't been translated into English. Firefighter Jet Jaguar debuted in a 10th story arc, where he lived up to his name despite a rude interruption by Megalon and Destaroya. He defeated the shape-shifting monster okay, Dororin no almost single-handedly, reducing his dirt body to mud with a giant fire hose. Masato also piloted him on one occasion, his extinguisher really breath helping generate a hologram to distract the, the amazingly named uh, Super Special Space Godzilla High Grade Type toys. 2. Godzilla to toys say. having wacky adventures. You can't get this type of content anywhere else, folks. Back in early 2019, Toho uploaded a short video to its Godzilla YouTube channel, which promised the unbelievable, an upcoming Jet Jaguar film. Then nice. everyone realized what day it was. Oh, Jet Jaguar has his own segment in the children's web series Godzibon called Go! Jet Jaguar. In these vignettes, he is a public relations robot created by Dr. Robo Robo to conduct the world's <laughs> first AI press conference. When Megalon appears, Jet Jaguar joins Godzilla as a guardian mecha, though with some less than speedy processing oh. power and some less than spectacular combat prowess. <laughs> okay, crap, crap. And we're back. Sorry about that. I get so into the videos nowadays that I kind of even forget to look to see about an ad time or anything. Yes. Jet Jaguar can grow from human-sized to kaiju-sized and back again, seemingly through sheer force of will. Goji Ben treats okay. him like an inflatable balloon, making it the only official media to offer any real explanation. Okay, Though he simply would, used his ability to match Megalon's size in Godzilla vs. Megalon, he was more strategic in Godzilla Rulers of Earth, blowing up Orga by flying into his mouth and growing his way out. In the yep, Atari Pipeworks games, that. he starts a fight at the about Orga the same video. height as the other combatants, then can expend energy to become either a bit larger or a bit smaller. 
Jet Jaguar fights with a mixture of punches, chops, stomps, kicks, knee smashes, aerial rams, and throws. With some I mean, effort, he lifted and human. threw the 25,000 ton Gigan into the air. Jet Jaguar can fly at speeds up to Mach 3.5, despite no Out, visible though. means of propulsion. Though the movie flyer for Versus Megalon does describe Jet Jaguar as having jets. He can also oh. hover, demonstrated when he carried the 20,000 ton sense, Godzilla though. out of Megalon's ring of fire. Jet Jaguar can emit a powerful light from his eyes, which he used to scan for Megalon after he oh, burrowed underground. That's cool. Aside from utilizing laser and missile attacks granted by generic cards in the game, JJ can exhale a blue breath weapon of sorts from his face in Godzilla trading battle. To save bad. the Earth, he can Rhino Pound, where he punches the ground, triggering a tremor which catapults nearby Kaiju into the air. Okay, that's His rage cool. attack is Tornado, which brings to mind Luigi's down special move in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Moreover, in Not both bad. Save the Earth and Unleashed, the robot can fire an Ultraman-esque ray from his hands, called the Plasma Clap. Jet Jaguar Ooh. was helpless against Gigan and Megalon's so tag team, to never landing a hit against them until Godzilla gave him time to recover. Still, considering that Goro didn't build him to fight monsters, it's impressive that he survived the battle without any apparent damage. Yeah, I mean, it probably would have been kind of better. If when they Mystery made, like, Science lose Theater 3000 riffed Godzilla vs. Megalon, they couldn't resist translating the Jet Jaguar theme song that plays at the end of the film. The song's actual title is Godzilla and Jet Jaguar Punch Punch Punch, composed by <laughs> Nichiro Manabe, okay. with vocals by Masato Shimon and lyrics by Shinichi Sekizawa. Shimon was the tokusatsu singer of the 70s, his credits including nice. the first five Kamen Rider shows, Red Man, Zone Fighter, and Android Kikaider. Not bad. In Godzilla That's Monster cool. Apocalypse, the United Earth builds a type of battle armor called Whoa. Type 38 Mobile Combat Uniform Jaguar Japan Specification, or Jaguar J for short. As long as that Not name bad. is, it's downright ordinary compared to his monikers in the German and Castilian Spanish dubs of Godzilla vs. Megalon, King Kong, and Superman, respectively. <laughs> if you're looking for an explanation beyond Europeans' general love of misnaming kaiju, I got nothing. The but even the US wasn't immune. When CinemaShare sent a short comic book to theaters to promote the film, it called Jet Jaguar Robot Man. The other comics I mean... the bot appeared in got his name right. Hurricane Isn't Ryu's he? wild 1990 comic Monster Warrior Godzilla depicts Jet Jaguar as a mech piloted by the Japanese Prime Minister. Backed up by other famous Toho robots, he's okay, equipped with cool. extra armor, a sword, a motorcycle, and that's some edgy dialogue. For Godzilla, rulers of Earth, Chris Mowry and Matt Frank devised an all-new backstory for Jet Jaguar. An alien refugee from a planet the Cryog destroyed brought to Earth to prevent us from suffering the same fate. However, hmm. Toho forced them to keep it vague. Aside from tearing okay, apart Borga, fine. Jet Jaguar's most memorable moment comes in issue 12, where he defeats Destroya by flying inside Kiryu and firing the Absolute Zero Cannon. Jet Jaguar has made full-fledged nice. appearances in 13 video games from 1992 to 2019. Apparently cloning himself is as easy as changing <laughs> size because in Damn. Battle Soccer, Godzilla's teammates include five Jet Jaguars. He also made the That's roster of Bandai of Namco's PS3 and PS4 Godzilla game through sheer charm, as producer Shinsuke Fujita recalled. I didn't even ask for Jet Jaguar. I went into an office and saw him on the screen, and I couldn't say no. <laughs> on a somewhat related note, Jet like... Jaguar appeared in the Godzilla yes. Wars line of Toy Card 100 <laughs> trading cards, along with two new variants called Super Jet Jaguar and Full Armor Jet Jaguar. These hmm, kaiju profiles bad. usually don't cover fan works, but this one was too cool to leave out. In 2015, a group of independent tokusatsu filmmakers called Overload Film released a short called like Jet Jaguar name. Project M11. Set in the Heisei Godzilla universe, it shows Jet Jaguar crash landing in front of a young engineer who builds him a body. G-Force captures Ooh. the robot and upgrades oh, him no. to fight a similar threat from the future. Oh. Android M11 from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah played once again by Robert Scott Field. Though presented okay, in the form of a cool. trailer, I should clarify that there are no plans to make a full-length version. They should. Hideaki Anno's famed anime series, Neon Genesis Evangelion, includes a huge homage to Jet Jaguar in the form of Jet Alone. In episode oh. seven, Japan Heavy Chemical Industries presented this robot as a superior alternative to NERV's Evangelion units, as it required no onboard pilot and could operate for five months straight. 
Nerve, ruthless as always, secretly sabotaged its first test run. Like oh, Jet Jaguar, great. it seemed to acquire a mind of its own. Fortunately, Shinji Akari and Masato Katsuragi shut it down before its nuclear reactor could explode. Universal Studios Japan brought things Good full walk. circle with its Godzilla vs. Evangelion The Real 4D attraction, which gave Jet Jaguar a cameo in the nice. neon streets of Osaka 3. That's all for Wikizilla's profile on Jet Jaguar. I'm Monster Island Buddies, and always remember, you don't f*** <laughs> with the Jaguar! Thank you all for watching! Alright folks, well, I gotta say, this was actually kind of a nice video to learn about the robot man himself, Jet Jaguar. Oh, uh, I'm I know I'm saying that weird, just forgive me. But anyway, I want you all to remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video, so remember to support the original crayon all they do, and I'll see all of you folks next time when we flick on. Peace out.